Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly thank everybody. My last video just hit 1k and at the time of recording this video, we got 78 subscribers. I know that may not seem a lot compared to other people, but to me that's huge. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll try to keep getting better at making these videos. Hey, how's it going? I'm Adam and welcome to my channel. Have you ever wanted a rough, muted and a desaturated image? You know, something that more accurately captures real life? Then no oh boy do I got the film stock for you. In 2019, we got a new color film from Lomography, Lomochrome Metropolis. It's a part of Lomography's experimental line of films such as Lomo Purple and Turquoise. It apparently gives you a desaturated image, muted tones, punchy contrast, and somewhat resembling of a bleach bypass aesthetic. So if you want your images to sort of look like a scene from the movie Fight Club, this might be the film stock for you. Due to its popularity, in 2021, we got an updated formula, Metropolis 2.0 if you will. It apparently gives you even bolder contrast, stronger color saturation, and the iconic grain, whatever that means. This film is described as best for exploring the concrete jungle. Now, I live in Poznan, not New York. We don't have tall buildings or have that big city energy. So I decided to hit the train station and test it out there. I loaded up the Yashica 124G, G standing for God, this film packaging is sexy. And I headed out the door. Now let's talk about the ISO. You can make this film from 100 to 400. That's right, the world is your oyster. You get to choose. I chose 400. You can also apparently rate each shot differently on the same row. At least that's what the website says. I was too much of a coward to actually test this out. It's also worth mentioning that the DX code, just like my photography skills, is non-existent. Yeah, this is gonna be a terrible shot because the light meter is just going crazy and it's too contrasty. But yeah, it's gonna be horrible. Just goes to show, I have terrible instincts and I don't know what I'm talking about because these photos are my favorite of the entire world. That contrast, gritty look, and that green tint really is a vibe. I really enjoy the photo, but I do wish the three guys went center more. Could have been somewhat of a decent photo. The film really is desaturated and muted, but the reds really do seem to pop. Hmm. Gotta remember that in the future. Okay, I gotta admit, I really like this photo. I actually think that the film stock could be great for photo shoots. The skin tones are not bad, plus throwing some red clothing. And I think you can get somewhat of a interesting looking photo. 
Anyway, that's the end of the video and the row. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Now, will I be shooting Metropolis again? Heck yeah. I definitely want to try that photo shoot idea that I mentioned. Plus, this film stock seems to be really great for street photography. I'm usually not a fan of experimental and trippy styles of film stocks, but I gotta say that I actually got some photos that I don't completely hate. It has a unique and edgy look, and because of that, I think this film stock stands out. You know, other film stocks pretty much offer that warm, saturated look, but Metropolis seems to go the complete opposite, and I'm a fan. Anyway, like, subscribe, you know, do all that jazz, and I'm off to admire that film packaging again. You are beautiful.